I'm not gonna just one day wake up and have regular legs like everybody else. There is no cure for lymphedema. It makes your limbs heavy and it also causes a lot of pain. And I have lost 71 pounds. I can continue to lose as much weight as I want to, but these legs are not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm a human, I'm a person, this is me, this is who I am. Why would I, you know, cover it up because somebody else doesn't like it? I just wear whatever I want to wear. Instead of trying to cover up, I accentuate what I like about myself. Even though I didn't know what lymphedema was, growing up with swelling in my legs was uncomfortable. Um, to say the least. I remember so clearly I was in third grade um, and I was talking in class just like students do and a substitute teacher decided to literally throw a book at me and when she threw it she called me fat you know and that was one of the first times that I remember an adult calling me fat um, and so yeah it was a lot. I would try to hide my legs, I would try to cover up. This actually didn't happen until like my teenage years because I became more aware of it. I will say though, because of my upbringing, my parents tried to ensure me that I was special and I was amazing and all of these things. I still went for anything that I wanted to go for. So like in middle school, I would try out for cheerleading and flag corps and I would actually get it because I kind of, you know, psyched myself out about it. When I was first diagnosed with lymphedema, I really didn't have a lot of different emotions about it because over the years, people have always kind of hinted that I might have it. Um, I did not get checked out on it until around 2016 though. I was 455 pounds and so during that time I had to wear compression garments um, because if I didn't the swelling would get out of hand in my legs and it would be very painful to walk and I just needed to make sure that I was able to be as mobile as possible. So I actually recently lost 71 pounds so as I've been more active and lost weight I have I haven't had to use the compression garments and my swelling has been, um, I'll say maintained. I can continue to lose as much weight as I want to, but these legs are not going anywhere. <laughs> that is just, you know, a part of the condition. There is no cure for lymphedema that I know of, uh, but there are ways to manage it. So right now I am massaging my legs in order to keep my circulation flowing well. I have to massage myself in the morning and in the evenings. Um, and I also massage anytime I'm feeling pain throughout the day. Um, but because I stay pretty active now, I don't have to do it too often. I definitely believe that I wouldn't be who I am today without having to struggle with this condition. I feel like I want to cry <laughs> and I don't want to do that, but yeah. So when I think back on my life, I wish that there was somebody like me who would impart and teach me to love myself as I was then. Um, how I do now. That was beautiful. Ooh, oh my goodness. <laughs> really for me, um, that healing process that I was going through, dance was really important for me during that time. And it just lights up my mood, makes me feel good. And as I began to post on TikTok, more women joined in and resonated with me, and so I just kept going. This particular video had 217.9K views. Somebody literally told me I was going to hell. He basically said, your message is good enough without you showing your skin. I'm a human, I'm a person, this is me, this is who I am. Why would I, you know, cover it up? Because somebody else doesn't like it or they'll make fun of me. I just wear whatever I wanna wear. And it really makes me feel better though now. Like, instead of trying to cover up, I accentuate what I like about myself. Now I get more positive people um, saying hello, you know, even kind of rooting me on, especially if I'm exercising or something like that. On this weight loss journey and, you know, dealing with lymphedema, I went on something called 100 Days of Flow. And so it's basically 100 days where I choose my top three things that I am going to do every single day towards my health and my healing. And so through that, I've been able to coach ladies and help them to lose weight. Today we're gonna do the dance party and some exercise. 
Hi, my name is Tanea and I am one of Evelyn's 100 Day of Flow students. Five, six, five, and make sure you turn your whole body when you punch. Here, here, good job, you got this. Listen, go. listen. Oh, we we was gonna be sweating for real. Okay? No, that was good. <laughs> no, I felt that, I felt like I did something. My first workout with Evelyn was amazing. I'm looking forward to more over the 100 days plus. Honestly, even at 39 this year, I feel like it's just the beginning. I feel like my condition is purposeful now. I feel good about it, actually. <laughs> it's something that I feel like has pushed me into a purpose that I didn't even know um, was my own. Do what makes you happy, do what you have fun doing, and it doesn't matter if you don't look like everybody else.